Island, uh, at uh, Pavelia, um, to scare him to death, basically, <laughs> which she did. Yeah. Okay, well, the shows are going out on November the 7th and the 8th, 9pm on Living. I can give you all a sneaky preview now, a TV exclusive. <laughs> it's Yvette Fielding, Paul O'Grady, in Venice. It's shocking. Take a look. When Yvette Fielding, Britain's premier ghost hunter, asked Paul O'Grady to join her on a search for paranormal activity, he leapt at the chance. In this two-part special, Yvette and Paul travel to Venice and uncover its dark and gruesome history as they search for evidence of life after death. What the hell is that? Can you hear me? Singing, singing, Paul, This is nasty. The island of Pavalia has a long and disturbing history. Allegedly, it made host to the crude and deranged experiments of a twisted doctor. He would perform gruesome and barbaric operations on the residents, turning the wards into blood-stained torture chambers. Please hear my voice. I'll come all the way from it. Did you not hear that? The smell is disgusting. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, the size of that Whoa! Make a note, folks. That's November the 7th and the 8th. It's 9pm. It's living. It's a two-part special event in Paul O'Grady. It's called Death in Venice. You do not want to miss it. And the series kicks off November the 3rd, which is Tuesday week, 9 o'clock on Living, and it's going to be fantastic. Now, you're going to be working hard for us for the next seven nights, tonight included. As you know, the fans love to chat to you. We talk to them after the programme. We've got a couple of people on the phones now Great. to ask a couple of questions. Yes. Okay, let's hope we can hear them. Let's start with uh, Gareth from West Yorkshire. He's uh, 23. Good evening, Gareth. Hello. Gareth, what is your question for uh, Carl and Yvette, please? I, um, I, was last, I was there last night in the audience with uh, a friend of mine, Tony Boxing, and uh, I was just wondering, does it worry you when people in the investigation team uh, collapse, and why do you think this happens? Do you want to answer that? Oh, hi, Gareth. Hi, 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 hi mate. Um, I've got to say, it, it, does, it, it does worry you, because quite often it, it makes you realise that that sometimes maybe we, we, we can be dealing with something we truly don't understand and there's, there can be a sinister start, side to this, this paranormal investigation. And it's, it's a hard thing, especially when people you know and love are passing out on the floor and you know that, 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 that there's no real reason for it apart from the fact that they're either frightened or something's mm -hmm. taken them over. And, it, and it, it's horrible. Don't, doesn't it make you think, though, Gareth, as well? You think all the years that we've been doing Most Haunted, the amount of times that people have sort of passed out and they've felt ill, and people, for instance, like Nick Keane, who sort of, yeah. like, had never, ever done Most Haunted before, well-respected floor manager, been in the television industry for years, um, wasn't sure what to expect. Same sort of thing happened to him. David Holmes, our sound man, on the last one, the paramedics were called in, the audience member, and so on. And you think, well, there's got to be something in it. You know, if Kieran was here, I'd be saying, there has to be something in it. Is it an energy thing? What is it? Or, you know, are the spirits causing this to happen? And why? Gareth, is it something you've ever felt? Have you ever felt overpowered by the intensity of emotion in a, in a strange new place? Um, no, not, not first time. But, you know, I've, I've, uh, like last night, I saw it happen to a lady who was in the balcony. Um, and, well, obviously, to one of your team. But, um, sure. You know... It's I'm a great not. question, mate. Thank you very much. Hope you Thank enjow you the show and keep watching for the next seven nights. Thank you. Thank you. Great question. Then let's turn now to Tracy, who works in a shop somewhere in North Wales. Hello, Tracy. Hello. Have you got a question I know you have for Carl and Yvette? Can we hear it, please? I do. Is there a tiny part of you that's looking forward to passing on? See what's on the other side. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Hi. Tracy. Um, there, <clears throat> I'm scared to death of dying, if the truth be known. I think quite a lot of us are. I know you're not. Um, uh, uh, I am, and only because I think, well, I personally believe that there is life after death, that there is definitely something there. Um, but it's that, I suppose the fear for me is how you die. And I really hope, cross my fingers, that I die in my sleep. That's all I know. And, I, and the one thing I'm looking forward to is seeing my dad and my grandma. God bless. I can't wait to see them again. I, 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 I suppose it's the final adventure, the final journey. Yeah. Well, that, that, for, for me, it's, it's, I, I don't obviously want to die, but I kind of look forward to the adventure of it because it's something I can't escape. It's going to happen one day. Is there any backtrack from you tonight? You are going to die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, it is that, it's, it's that kind of point. You, 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 
it's the adventure of it because we will finally know and we all have to take that journey at some point in our life sadly but it, it's that final adventure we will know what it's all about at that point and please on behalf of everybody here and everybody watching you and Stuart be safe tonight <laughs> don't take too many no. risks <laughs> Okay, well, they're about to head off on that great investigation that's in store for us tonight. We wish them both the best of luck. We're going to catch up with them later on, on location, a truly fantastic vigil on the way for you. But for the moment, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Yvette Fielding and Carl Beatty. a break. Carl and Yvette are heading to join the rest of the team at the vigil location tonight. I promise you a blood-soaked night of paranormal investigation and here is just a taster of what might be in store. Welcome back to this imposing edifice. It is the Winter Gardens in Morecambe, a temple to art, theatre and the dance, abandoned since 1977. It was opened in 1897. It is rich in theatrical history and musical history, also rich in paranormal potential. We had an amazing night here last night, the first of an eight-night investigation. We are looking for eight faces of evil, and last night we were ably assisted by two very gallant members of our audience. They helped us with a vigil and investigation after last night's show, under the expert eye and protection of our paranormal investigator Phil Wyman and with Carl and Stewart to assist them, it was a perilous journey. Here's what happened. First of all, before we start, how are you feeling at the moment, George? I feel dead nervous, my heart's pounding. Who's walking? Is that a bother? Yeah. Can you give us a bang? Right. Carl, oh, what the is that? Is someone coming up them stairs, sir? Just have a look, mate. It's not that. It's yes, that's... It's like concrete. It's, yeah. it's, it's like they're in this room. Yeah. That's all the... To ask again if there's anybody here in this room with us, if you want to talk to us, tap four times. You're joking. No. Come on! In case you didn't hear it on the camera, there were four definite yeah, marks. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I feel as though someone is squeezing my heart and the breath out of me. That's mm -hmm. God, so, on my kids' lives, that's what it feels like. And I'm not overly apprehensive. It just feels as though someone's squeezing, squeezing the life out of me here. Come on, if there's anybody up here with us, please try your best to show yourself to us. We're not here to harm you at all. We're not here to judge anything you might have done. Something's just touched the top of my head. Seriously? Oh, something's just touching the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my 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 Whoa! Did you catch something there? What no, just a noise. Was it the stone? Was it the stone? And we intend to repeat that experiment tonight with two new audience members back to tell us what else happened last night. Julian Clegg has been joined by paranormal investigator Phil Wyman. Yeah, thank you, Paul. And what a scary night Phil and indeed Julian Jordan had, and Phil is with us on the stage now. Um, and Julie joining us on the phone in just a moment. This is a new thing for the show, isn't it? Going on after midnight, 
with members of the audience. Really interesting, isn't it? It is, yeah. We're trying to get the audience members more um, active on the investigations. And it's always interesting, after the crew have been in, to wind you know, spirit, your spirits up and get them going yeah. to see what happens to the people we get with us. Well, let's bring Julie in now. Hi, Julie. Hello. Good to have you there. And, of course, what was interesting, you thought the show was coming to an end. You weren't going to go out and investigation. No, I've got to pray for my life when you shouted me down. <laughs> Say that again. Take us through this business. What was going on on the top of your head? Oh, it felt as though, you know when you're stroking a cat, it felt as though 